My name is Mochali Fumokwele. Kids Brian Abraham. This is Mbai Chandaingerwa. Bukiakam Kosi. And I'm Promise Matatio. Bela Pimamba. Itai Usaiwevu. I'm from Zimbabwe. Expectations were basically to to be able to use these social media networks to effectively promote the work that I do and also to create a network of people with whom we share the same ideas. Ultimately the goal is to have people act and there should be clear affinities in terms of how people can link their social media work with practical organizing on the ground. So how to integrate various social media tools in the campaign so that their voice can be able to be amplified in uh, whatever way um, how you can integrate maybe Facebook with YouTube, YouTube and Twitter and also how you can make sure that um, your campaign gains momentum. So this experience has been really great in that I've um, learned how to consolidate all our efforts and bring them all together so that they are not just isolated campaigns on each uh, social media platform that um, bring them all together to work together. The positive energy that people have on social media and how they would like to use social media in the work they do uh, and the most important aspect of using media for campaigning and for their organization just to to get their messages and uh, to get their voices out there so that people can can know about the work that they do yes this has gone a long way to actually assist me to to be more active on the social networks because i've since realized that actually the work that we do without proper marketing through such medias it can just be can just amount to nothing nothing at all and I think um, I've learned a lot of things. Uh, first and foremost is how you can effectively plan your social media campaign and also how you can uh, make sure that you can evaluate it to see how the results are working for you. Urging uh, people who are reading this that it's important also to integrate these various tools within one space. In effect, you increase the effectiveness of the messages that you're put, putting across. Basically, I think I should thank Osisa for doing this kind of a training. I think that really speaks volumes of what, how grounded they are and really showing that they sit down and find out what they need. Uh, a core value at Osisa is um, improving the way we do our advocacy um, and assisting our partners to do their advocacy better and at the heart of that is improving how we communicate and I think this has done that. It was, I liked the training a lot. Conducting it was fun because I think when we started out um, I did expect people to know more than they did mostly because of the way they were speaking about <laughs> it. Um, I think uh, one of the highlights for me was just getting to know everyone's story and what they do and their work and um, sharing knowledge uh, with them and also uh, getting to know what their fears have been or misconceptions on about social media. And so one of my favorite statements at the end was when Promise said that he thought that Twitter was user friendly but really he was not Twitter friendly because he hadn't been using it the right way or trying to. So I'm really glad that we actually turn people around, people are restarting their blogs, they're reusing their Twitter accounts and their Facebook accounts and they can actually see why they need to communicate the way yeah. they should yeah. and how they're supposed to link yeah. these together.